Uh, today it was uh, skill work. Uh, obviously, you know, stations and uh, get back to our foundation. We haven't had a, a week like this where we've had three practices in a row for a while. So um, get a lot of good skill work in today and then uh, do a lot of special teams towards the end of the week and uh, going into the weekend. What did you do on Friday and Saturday when you don't have games? Because that rarely doesn't happen. Yeah, well, we're gonna we're gonna practice Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, have Friday off, and then we're gonna practice Saturday before we jump on the bus to go to Iowa. So um, we give them a break Friday to recharge and get ready for uh, a practice and a game. Did you have the chance to talk to Jeremy uh, before the trade? I talked to him. Yeah, I mean, you know, he uh, he didn't play in Chicago. He didn't play at home against Milwaukee. So something was going on, and uh, yeah, he was here against the, uh, Milwaukee on. Uh, on Sunday and talk to him after the game, wish him luck. And, you know, it's it's sort of been something that we thought might happen and he thought might happen for a while now. And uh, finally, the deal got done and he gets a fresh start and goes to Toronto, tries to prove himself and make the NHL. I know a lot of the Hawks front office guys were in Chicago. Did you have a chance to talk to Skinner or any of those guys uh, before after the game? Uh, in Chicago, yeah. Stan was at the game and talked to him after the game. And, uh, you know, a couple of them stopped down. It's always a... A good night, you know, because you get to see them and mingle with them, and you don't see them that often, so it's good. What are the Blackhawks' plans for Panic? Do you expect to see him here? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure, really. I think it's day-to-day -day right now, and we'll see. Uh, we could at some point, but, um, you know, we'll just uh, wait till the phone call comes. If, if we get a guy, we get a guy. It might be him. Uh, it might be someone else. I'm not sure. Is he similar to Morin or a completely different style? What, what's he like? I, I really don't know. He's been in the Eastern Conference his whole career. Um, PC played with him in uh, Norfolk. And um, he's, he's a Slovak. Uh, I, I would say he he's, he puts up numbers. He's a skilled guy. I would say he's similar to you know, Marco Dano and, uh, and Hosa and guys like that. He plays with a lot of skill and speed. So we'll see what ends up happening. Is Haggerty starting to get in the flow now that he's been back for a little while? Yeah. Um, you know, I think he's got seven games under his belt and he's shooting the puck better. And uh, uh, I said it earlier, I mean, I think he's got one of the, the best shots on our team, the hardest shots for sure. And um, to get our power play rolling and to generate some offense, I think he can be a big part of it. You know, the All-Stars are going to be announced at some point soon. Uh, is Polka in your mind, is he... Do you see deserving of all-star recognition this year? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, he's, he's generated uh, most points for our defense group, for sure, by far. Um, you know, he's still working on his defensive game and his, uh, his quickness and his mobility. Uh, but he puts in the work and the time, and, and he's a big part of our team right now. Seems like a real down-to-earth kid. What, what, what's he like to be around? Well, he's quiet. Uh, he goes about his business uh, in a professional manner for a young man who's only 21 years old. Um, you know, he has great preparation before and after practice and before games as well. And um, he's low maintenance. I mean, he just comes and he plays. Um, you know, Oz does a great job with him and watching video, you know, almost daily on, on his habits and his details and trying to, you know, make him a better player so he can get up to the NHL at some point.